Hi everyone, a lesson that we are going to take up for today is about a half wave rectifier. As we all know that a rectifier is a device that converts an AC signal to a DC signal. In a half wave rectifier, we are only using at least three components first is the ac source which is the transformer the second one is the diode and the third one is the load resistor before i'm going to proceed with the circuit Please, uh, let me review first these very important things, these two things. Alternating current, and the second one is the direct current. In alternating current, the direction of the current reverses periodically. That is why we have that positive half cycle, and we have also that negative half cycle. Whereas, in the direct current, the direction of the current flows only in one direction. Okay? So, this is just only a review for us to be able to proceed with the discussion. Let me show you to you the half-wave rectifier circuit. And as I've said, we only have three components. The first one is this one, the transformer or the power source. The second one is a diode, only one diode. And the third one is our load resistor. I place a value to each component. For the power source, I supply a 15 volts AC. For a diode, I am using a 1N4007. And for the load resistor, I am using a 10 kilo ohms. It is understood that this voltage supply is in sinusoidal waveform all right and it goes like this so this is the voltage input and the half wave rectifier for the positive half cycle of an AC voltage a diode would be in forward bias For the negative half cycle of an AC voltage, this diode would be in a reverse bias. Try to look at to these waveforms. The upper one is the voltage input and the lower one is the voltage output. This is an AC voltage and this is a DC voltage. I will explain to you later how it happens. Okay? At positive half cycle of an AC voltage, the response of a rectifier goes like this. It means that the diode conducts because the diode is in forward bias. For negative half cycle of an AC voltage, the response of the diode is zero. Why? It's because a diode would be in reverse bias during the negative half cycle 
which means that the diode is an open circuit and there is no current flows in it now i will show to you the actual waveform through the use of oscilloscope i will connect the oscilloscope here here and this point okay now i will use the channel one this is channel one and i will set the channel one to ac coupling so this one channel one to be connected in this point and since we are measuring an AC voltage we will set the channel one this one to AC coupling see this is channel one and here we are this is the half wave rectifier circuit in actual connections these two wires is the input voltage which is 15 volts and we have this diode and the load resistor okay i will connect here to the input of the half wave rectifier and the other one is here Now I will show you the actual waveform. So this is it. This is a sinusoidal wave because we are measuring the input of a half wave rectifier which is the 15 volts EC. Okay. So as you can see our maximum voltage is 14.8 or run up to 15 volts and next for the output of a rectifier we will connect another channel from the oscilloscope across this point okay so now I will use the channel 2 so this is the channel 2 as we will measure a DC voltage and the output and the output of a rectifier I will set my channel 2 to DC coupling okay and this is my another probe from channel 2 so I will connect this channel 2 probe to this point and the other one is to here okay so I will repeat this is channel 1 which is measuring the AC voltage and the channel 2 is the DC voltage which is the output of a half wave multiplier there you are see the yellow one is an AC voltage and the blue waveform is a DC voltage for better understanding I want to cut this waveform and I will put the trigger over here so that we can cut the waveform okay so now we have this uh, trigger already uh, adjusted for the positive half cycle 
of an AC voltage, this one, the response of a half wave rectifier is this one. Okay. For the negative half cycle of an AC voltage, this one, this curve, the response of a half wave rectifier is zero this line it's because the diode would be in a reverse bias i will repeat for better understanding for positive half cycle this one from this point to this point The response of a rectifier is like this. It's because the diode conducts. For the negative half cycle of an AC voltage this curve, the response of the diode is zero. As you notice, the output waveform is a pulsating DC. This one. This is a pulsating DC. It means that you still have a period or time and a frequency. In comparison to a bridge rectifier, a half wave rectifier produces a lot of ripples. According to the book, a more filtering is needed in a half wave rectifier compared to a bridge rectifier. Simply because in a half wave rectifier, only one cycle is conducting and the other one is open this ripple could be reduced or smoothened through the installation of a filter so we will use a capacitor as a filter and has to be connected in parallel to a load resistor I'm going to install a 100 microfarad capacitor across the load resistor. And there you are. A 100 microfarad capacitor has been installed across the load resistor. And now We'll go back to the oscilloscope. Okay. First, I will uh, remove this channel one because we will concentrate only on the output. For a better view of this waveform, I will try to adjust the time division like that and also I will adjust the voltage division this one okay so that's it The time has disappeared, the frequency has disappeared, but still you can see a ripples. Therefore, we have to add some additional filters to smoothen this one. Okay, so I want to add a filter here. I have a uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor 
I will connect this in parallel to the low resistor as an additional filter and now you can observe the waveform right so it is concluding that the more filters you have the smoothen is the waveform now i will disconnect the capacitor and you can see the difference see i remove the other one capacitor and reconnect again and let us see the difference that's it all right thank you very much and if you think that this video could help you in any ways or in any means please don't forget to subscribe and share